Welcome to Gamma Help Videos. Today we're going to learn how to create an additions mint for Bitcoin ordinals on Gamma. So first you'll need to navigate to Gamma.io and then you can connect your wallet located in the top right hand corner. Select your wallet and connect your account. You'll know you're connected because you'll see your alphanumeric wallet address in the top right hand corner. You'll then need to head to create. We're going to create a collection mint. You'll need to authorize your wallet and proceed. First, you're going to get some of the important details out of the way. You'll place your collection name description. You can then place your website, your Twitter, and your Discord. These are optional, however if you do have any or all of the three, we recommend that you do put them so that the potential minter and collector can check you out, learn more about you, and connect with you and your community. You'll then need to place your email address. Your email address will always remain private. The create a Bitcoin address for the wallet that you connected with will automatically pop up here. This is the address where you will receive the mint funds and the secondary royalties if you choose to have them for your collection. If you'd like to use a different address for any of these proceeds, you'll simply remove this one and place it in. You'll then prepare your collection. As we're setting up an additions mint, we're going to select this tab. Here, you'll place the inscription ID for the additions that you'd like to create. Please ensure that the preview is pointing at the correct inscription. You then need to decide, will it be an unlimited or open edition, remembering that you can close this at any time, or a limited edition. If you'd like to select a maximum quantity to be sold, you can click here and place it in. If you'd like it to be open until you decide to close it, or perhaps just leave it open, select unlimited. Next, you'll decide the mint price for each item. For free mints, you can either leave it blank or enter zero. So, for example, this mint might be 0 0.0002 Bitcoin. Just to check, you'll see the USD amount on the right hand side. Next, you'll leave a maximum mints per address. If you'd like unlimited mints per address, you can leave the field blank or enter zero. You'll tab here if you'd like to postpone minting for a later time. This is particularly handy if your community is expecting the mint to go live at a very specific time and date. If you'd like to add a presale mint pass, also known as a whitelist or an allow list, click yes, add presale. You can either drop the file here or click and select the file. To learn how to create your whitelist or allow list CSV, please see our Gamma Help video for that topic. If you'd like your collectors to use a particular special SAT for your mint, you can click Yes, Require Special SATs. Here, you can select from a vast array of special SATs off the list and continue. If you do this, it will mean that in order to mint from your collection, the collector will need to bring their own special SAT according to the one that you selected. If this doesn't pertain to your mint, you can click no thanks and your collectors can use any SAT that they have to mint your collection. Now we're going to review our collection. 
you'll read through the terms. And once you have, click Agree. The final step is to submit your collection for review. Nice work. You successfully submitted your collection. We'll review your submission and email you when it's live. And that's the way to set up an Editions Mint for Bitcoin Ordinals on Gamma. Thanks for watching. More help is always available at support.gamma.io.